Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Chomping with Chris. In this episode, I will not only be eating, I will also be cooking the food I will be eating and I will be cooking a ribeye steak. Here you have a beautiful ribeye steak. It's about an inch thick. I've never done this before, but I searched up some tutorials and uh, we're gonna try it. So the first thing, is pat your meat dry. So I'm gonna pat it dry. Okay, I am treating it with love. Okay, so now that I have dried this steak, the next thing I'm going to do that I learned is I'm going to use some olive oil and uh, just smear it so that the flavoring will go into it. Apparently, okay, maybe that's too much. But. Okay, maybe that was a bit too much oil. Oh well. Okay, then I season it with salt generously. Hopefully, that's not too much. And I also have some black pepper. And I will be searing this on the uh, stove top. I will not be putting it in the oven. Okay, so get it everywhere. Oh my goodness. All right, so that was part one. Now we do the other side. All right, so now I have seasoned my steak very nicely. The next step, I have prepped my pan. It's heating, so I better hear that sizzling sound. All right, so my pan is hot right now. I'm going to add some oil, even though technically I put oil on the meat, I don't have to, but I'm going to add a little bit of oil just to be safe. I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. I've never done this before, so don't judge me. Okay, so now I'm going to put the meat in, and it should sizzle, like really sizzle. Here it is. Okay, and you put the meat okay, away from you. Ooh, that was a nice sizzle. Okay, so now, ugh, washing my hands. It should be two minutes, two to three minutes of foot, so it's seven of three. I will flip this in two minutes. And since I do not have tongs, I will be Asian and use chopsticks. All right, so two to three more minutes before I flip it. Oh, let me turn the fan on. Okay, it's been two minutes. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh boy, that's beautiful. Okay. Look at that! Whoa! Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that's such a beautiful brown color. So I'm going to be here doing this, flipping it every 12 to 4, no, every 2 to 3 minutes for 12 to 14 minutes is what the uh, tutorial said. That is a beautiful brown. I'm so good. I am an expert. Okay. I can already smell the juices. It's doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> She's nodding behind the camera. Okay. We get the sizzle when I move the oil. So we're going to keep flipping this. And then after 12 to 14 minutes, I'll be adding the butter to baste it. Uh, and you're supposed to baste it with garlic, uh, thyme, and rosemary. I do not have thyme or rosemary, so I'm just going to do the garlic. And we'll see how it turns out. So. Alright, and then two minutes, so we're gonna flip it. Ooh. And then Ooh. okay. Such a beautiful brown sizzle. Oh, another two minutes. Okay, maybe I am turning it down a little bit. It's medium. <laughs> okay, 
well, I'm going to cut the cooking time short because uh, it's looking like it's starting to get cooked. So I'm going to turn the heat to medium low-ish. And then I am going to move the steak to one side and come over here and uh, mash these garlic babies. I'm going to throw this in with this garlic that I, I mean, my butter that I have. All right, so I am done cooking this fine steak. Uh, so now we're going to take it over here to rest. I don't know if those are clean anymore, so I'm going to use Such is life without tongs. Okay, here I have this steak, and then you're supposed to put these things onto it. Ugh. And then pour the juice on it as well. Ta-da! Okay. Here's the steak, and now we're gonna let it rest for minimum five minutes, five to 15 minutes. So I'll come back, we'll cut the steak, and we'll see how it came out. Stay tuned. Five minutes later. Welcome back. It has been at least five, five or six minutes of resting. So now we're going to cut the steak. I am going to move the garlic over. So I was going for medium to medium, medium rare to medium, um, but I may have overcooked it, so if it's well done, oh well, <laughs> get it? So let's take a look. Okay, looks looks well done from where I am, but oh boy. Yep, that's a well done steak, but it is what it is. So here we go. Don't worry, I have two other steaks to practice with, so uh, I will be doing this again. Yes, that is a very, very well done steak. But, you know what, I'm going to try a piece because it still smells really good. So here I go. You know, even though this is a well done steak, the flavor is really good. I think it's it's actually not that bad. Like it's not too chewy or anything. I think it's just the right amount. I've, I've ordered a medium steak that's much drier, much chewier than this. So I would say this has been a success. Uh, next time I will not be flipping it as many times, but overall great steak, great flavor. First time doing it. Stay tuned for next time as I improve on my cooking skills. Thanks for watching and join us next time on Cooking with Chris. No, Chomping with Chris. Woo!